How could you know if it's your recording or your system? Great question. I began to wonder if maybe I was beating my head against the wall trying to tune my system to achieve the best possible sound from the test CD I was using. Based on my thinking, the CD was recorded and produced at such a high level of accuracy that the defects to its sound during playback must be due to my components. Therefore, of course, he's setting up everything to that. But what if my playback is actually exactly what is on the CD, warts and all? Wow. One of the things I love about these, these uh, Q&As is because I, I don't think about all those questions, and, and, uh, and other people do, which is great. So, first thing, just as, as a matter of advice, I, I would advise anyone setting up a system, do not use a single CD. Now, I have 25 or 30 CDs uh, that I use in, in a setup. And if you're ever curious what those are, you can go over to my daily blog, which is called Paul's Post, psaudio.com, go to Paul's Post, and there just, or just go to Google and type in Paul's Post Music Picks. What is it? Uh, Paul's Post, Paul's Picks, maybe. And, and there you'll start to see the lists that I've published of, of records. Now, it isn't that these CDs that I have published that I use for my reference for setup are, are so unique and so wonderful. But what they are is variable. And, and, well, variable is not a great word. Variety. That's the word I was looking for. They both started with a V. So <laughs> they have variety. So there are a few test CDs where people have done well. And they've used various different miking techniques, close mics, far mics, uh, multi-miked, live miked, um, different room settings, different instruments, etc. Those are those are few and far between. And no recording is perfect. In fact, most recordings aren't anything but perfect, simply because they use microphones. Microphones, like, like I'm talking into right now. Hello? That's my microphone, okay? That sucker is an imperfect pressure transducer. I mean, if you think about it, our ears are 360 degree devices that I can tell from over here, I can tell here, <clears throat> anywhere that, uh, you know, that music is coming, I can tell the phase, the directional, uh, the directionality, I can tell the level, the volume. I mean, it, it's like having, you know, 360 slices of microphones perfectly poised around my head in a circle. And there is no such thing as a microphone that can do what our human ears do. At, at best, even, even a, a, you know, a pair, uh, which can tell, you know, 360 degree sound, sort of, they're very inaccurate. It, microphones are one of the weakest links in the stereo system. So to base recordings and setup of equipment, on, on CDs is, is, a, is, a, is a touchy game at best. And at worst, it's going to be something that is, um, oh, as imperfect as it could be. So my best advice is um, use a wide variety of recordings and music to get an overall feel. Now, when you're first starting out, it's fine to use like a single piece. And, and one of my favorite is Jennifer Warren's from um, uh, Famous Blue Raincoat. What's the track I like? Um, it's the one with the famous bass player in there. Da -da 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 I can't, can't think of the name of it, but <clears throat> most of the, the, the tracks on there are pretty good. Fine. Use that or something like that as your initial setup to get... Jennifer sounding right, the bass correct, all that's fine. But once you've kind of dialed the system in, now it's time to use a wide variety of music and make sure there is no consistent irregularities in the sound. If everything has a kind of a hooty sound, your system is hooty. If everything has kind of a, a bassy sound like this, then your system is bassy. Or if it's tall and thin and, you know... Whatever is happening, there should be zero consistency between all those tracks. 
So take some of those tracks that I have uh, offered you and use those as setup because without question you are hearing warts and all. So make sure your warts are evenly placed throughout the musical spectrum. It's a great question and thank you for asking it.